Hey guys, it's Chloe with a very special Hollywood Life movie buzz. So everybody is familiar with their favorite stars maybe going through some perhaps public body makeovers, but what about when stars change their bodies drastically for just one movie? We're gonna run down the list of our top five most shocking modern Hollywood body makeovers. Okay, so you can't talk about celebrities changing their bodies for movies without explaining how this whole trend started. In 1980, Robert De Niro played the legendary boxer Jake LaMotta in Martin Scorsese's Raging Bull. He went from a ripped professional athlete to actually actually gaining 60 pounds to play an older LaMotta in the same movie. He got so sick from the drastic weight gain, his friends feared for his life. Well, he survived and won an Oscar for the role, and since then, stars have been either starving or binging to recreate that success with mixed results. So with that in mind, starting our list at number five is Hollywood super hottie Jared Leto. Jared first attempted the De Niro move for the film Chapter 27, playing John Lennon's assassin. He went from this to gaining 67 pounds to play the crazed killer. Leto got so sick from the weight gain, he got gout. Gout, people. Google it. Unfortunately, the movie also flopped and Leto vowed to never gain weight for a movie again. But he didn't promise he wouldn't lose weight because, of course, in 2014, he dropped 40 pounds to play an HIV-positive transvestite in Dallas Buyers Club, getting down to a scary skinny 114 pounds. How did he do it? Jared said he, quote, just stopped eating. Oh my god, yikes, I could never. However, this time it did pay off. Leto won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor, so he didn't start for nothing. Speaking of Dallas Buyers Club, Matthew McConaughey comes in at number four. Few people are more known for running on beaches shirtless and ripped. There's that whole Magic Mike situation, but Matt also lost 47 pounds to play a dying man in the same movie as Jared Leto. If you saw him looking a little frail and creepy in True Detective, or especially in Wolf of Wall Street, this is the reason. And what do you know? Matthew also won an Oscar for his efforts. Ah, all right, all right, all right. Okay, coming in at number three is my personal crush, Jake Gyllenhaal. He was so hot and ripped in movies like Jarhead and Prince of Persia, but in 2014, Jake lost 30 pounds to play a creepy cameraman in the movie Nightcrawler, and it is disturbing to look at. Jake has said that he was literally hungry all the time during the shoot, and unfortunately, Oscar nominations just came out. No love for Jake here. However, don't worry, like Robert De Niro, Jake just got ripped again for his new role as a boxer, so maybe next year he'll get some love. Next, here's a twist. Coming in at number two is 50 Cent. Everybody knows 50's famously ripped body from that Into Club video or just his constant flexing on Instagram, but not a lot of people saw his 2011 portrayal of a football player stricken with cancer and things fall apart. A lot of people were saying he looked more like 25 Cent after going on a strict liquid diet and working out three hours a day to lose a shocking 54 pounds for the role. 50, you're already rich. You don't need to die trying. And since we're keeping score, no Oscar noms for Curtis Jackson on this one. Okay, we've made it. Our number one Hollywood body makeover can only go to the Dark Knight himself, Christian Bale. You saw him buffed up as Batman, or maybe you caught his ripped physique coming out of the shower in American Psycho, but Christian is the master of the big movie body makeover. His most shocking transformation, no doubt, was for 2004's The Machinist. These images are hard to even look at. On a diet of only an apple and a can of tuna per day, he lost an insane 63 pounds for the role. Crazier still, he had only about six weeks to bulk back up for the title role in Batman Begins. But Christian makes our number one because this isn't his only makeover. In 2014, Bale also gained 40 pounds of fat to play a con man in American Hustle, and of course, pulling a De Niro, Christian once again cut the calories in 2011 to play a crack-addicted former boxer in The Fighter. And what do you know? He won the Oscar that year for Best Supporting actor. So it seems there's a lesson here, guys. If you want an Oscar in Hollywood, it doesn't hurt to push your body to the absolute limits. Not sure if that is such a great message, but these actors are definitely committed. Okay, guys, that's our list. Click on me or above to subscribe and let me know what do you think of our list? Who do you think has had the craziest body makeover in movies? Bye, guys. We are going to count down our favorite and most surprisingly tiny celebs for you guys. So let's get right down to it. Literally? 